I'm back with former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers. Larry, uh, this week uh, the Chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jay Powell, seemed to give a revised assessment of where the Fed is going in terms of uh, interest rates uh, by suggesting that uh, we're much closer to what, 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 what the economists call the neutral uh, rate of interest for the economy. Do you think the Fed uh, has got the message that maybe it's in danger of overdoing it and tightening rates uh, and tightening, tightening monetary policy too far? I thought Chairman Powell was more right today, yesterday, on Wednesday, when he spoke, than he was a couple months ago. I think we are relatively close to the near near term to the neutral rate. I think there are signs that the economy is slowing, and I think the Fed has to be very careful. You know, if you get in a shower in an old hotel and there's a 30 second lag between when you turn the faucet and when the water gets hot, it's really easy to scald yourself. And that's the problem with monetary policy. There's about a year lag between when rates change and what happens to the economy. And so it's really easy to tighten too far and not know you're doing it and send the economy into a downturn. And we've got a very brittle economy in all sorts of ways, not much room to reduce rates, given the zero bound. Already we've shot the fiscal uh, cannon protectionist and populist uh, pressures lurking and uh, looming. So I think being very careful not to tip the economy over is the right posture uh, for the Fed. So, you know, I think you can discuss the ways in which they got there, but I think the Fed's in a better place now than uh, it had been. But growth is still pretty robust. We've just had, you know, 3.5% growth in the third quarter on the top of sure, the, but the very problem, strong second quarter. Sure. But the economy, you know, there's no obvious signs of, of, of significant weakening. The Fed does want to, quote, normalize monetary policy. Doesn't it get back? As you said, we've, we've had rates very low for a very long period of time. Isn't it right that maybe they need to be leaning in a little bit towards not just neutral, but maybe even higher than neutral? I'm not... I'm not sure what neutral is uh, in this environment. We've had the economy stimulated very substantially by the tax cuts, which probably stimulated a lot more consumer spending than they did uh, investment uh, spending. That's going to go away. We know that monetary policy operates with a lag, and we know that financial conditions reflected in the stock market, reflected in the foreign exchange market, have tightened substantially, and all of that is in train. So the great danger is that we will tighten, we won't have seen the effects of the tightening, and we'll keep tightening and over-tighten. And that's the thing that would worry me most. And I was glad to see uh, Chairman Powell show uh, some uh, concern about that. But look, I think we're also in a more dangerous monetary environment because we've got a president uh, sounding off about the Fed. And that's just got to increase uncertainty premiums everywhere, make it harder for the Fed uh, to do its job. And I think that kind of political rhetoric about monetary policy is really quite dangerous. Although on the issue, it sounds as though you basically agree with the president that maybe the Fed is in danger of well, doing it. The ways in which the president's spoken, I don't think any thoughtful economist would agree with. But I do think that there are more risks of over-tightening than there are of under-tightening right now. How do you assess the overall economy then? I mean, let's assume the Fed does slow down a little bit in its rate increases. What's the chance of a recession next year? I think the probability is not quite 50 percent, but in that range of a recession having begun by the end of 2020. What would, what would cause that? Well, I mean, why, why what would, would cause why that would, would be that? Uh, the economy tipping over because of tighter financial conditions when there's been a lot of complacency uh, built into financial markets and you get a sudden change in the psychology and you can see conditions uh, start to change uh, quite, dra quite dramatically. Again, uh, you've got fiscal stimulus being removed, you've got monetary tightening feeding through, You've got financial conditions uh, moving in an adverse uh, direction. You've got populist pressures and geopolitical risks uh, increasing. That's a nasty, uh, that's a nasty cocktail, and uh, we're headed into it. And I think it's a mistake to think that the good times that rolled this year were some reflection of fundamental strength rather than... Uh, very temporary uh, injection of steroids uh, through, t through the tax cuts. 